Hey, it's Jag, and today I got an unboxing. So what I've got here is a Trinity Amps Tri-Watt amplifier kit. Uh, it's based on the uh, uh, early 70s to early 80s high watts, uh, DR504, DR103, etc. Uh, any of you who know me know that I do design and build my own amps, and I have quite a few amps I've built for myself. I really like doing that, and I really like building my own amps. But I uh, really wanted something to use as a backup uh, to my main high watt. And uh, I came up with uh, Trinity Amps and doing some searches. They're a Canadian company, which I, I really liked some of the features. It can run EL34s. It can also run KT66s. Um, but it was originally designed to run two uh, 6L6s, no, 6V6s, and be 22 watts maximum. Mainly I run... Uh, what they call a pedal platform, uh, just a really clean amp just on the edge of breakup and then I get all my my crunch tones uh, with pedals and I plan to do that with this one. Uh, this is their tri-watt build but I also have the optional uh, effects loop module and the optional foot switchable overdrive. So as I said it's an unboxing but there's a bit of a story to this. Not once but twice I confirmed my address with uh, with Stephen at Trinity Amps, and both times I confirmed it wrong. Um, I had one number in the address wrong, and the second time I confirmed it was just a cut and paste. The odd thing for that was I got a notification on a Sunday that this had been delivered, and there was nothing on my step, so that's when I called Canada Post, and they said, well, no, we did deliver it, but the address we had is not the one you just told us. I told them my address. So I spent two hours on Sunday afternoon driving all over town trying to find this address. Well, it turns out Stephen accidentally sent it to the wrong address as well. So even though I gave him the wrong address, he sent it to an even completely other address. Uh, the short part of that story was he was able to tell me the address he sent it to, and I was able to pick it up, so here it is. So, as I say, an unboxing, to be honest, I have actually opened it up already because of the, the journey it took. I wanted to make sure everything was okay. So I'm starting with the box just to show you that it was really well packed. It was, uh, it was packed. It's uh, a double-lined corrugated cardboard box. Uh, lots of bubble wrap. It was wrapped up in, in foam. Uh, Stephen does a really good job of packing. And wait till you see this cabinet. This, this amp is going to be awesome. All right, well, here's the whole kit. Uh, first thing you'll notice, bright red. Red is my favorite color, has been my favorite color since I was a little kid. Uh, second is purple. The next amp I build is going to be purple. But this is the cabinet that, um, that uh, Trinity Amps builds for their Tri-Watt kit. Um, as you can see, it looks very high wattish, which is cool. Uh, Faceplate also has, you know, echoes the high watt look. And the really cool thing about how he packed this up, it is a kit. And because it's an amp and everything is going to go inside, of course, all the components were shipped inside the head. So uh, it's screwed closed right now here. I'm going to uh, open that up and we'll go through the parts. Here's the back panel. Um, you probably can't read it, but it's got a Trinity badge on the back. One thing I like is they don't put anything on the front. Uh, that wouldn't have bothered me, but I hope Stephen won't mind. I'm going to put one of my Muller Up Amp Works badges on the front because there will be some uh, customizing done to this. Uh, I already know, because he emailed me this, that the documentation is pretty close to 90 pages. Um, I have read it all. Uh, for any of you who've never built an amp, um, I think from what I've seen as a kit, uh, you can't go wrong with Trinity. This step-by-step -step documentation, you could virtually know nothing except that you have to be careful about high voltages and you probably would come out with, with an amp that worked perfectly. These instructions are great. A few things in boxes. I'm pretty sure I know what most of those are. Lots more plastic padding. Bubble wrap. Okay, transformers. All right. 
right, I know these are custom wound Abor transformers. Uh, at least that's what their documentation says. We'll open those and have a look. A uh, bunch of stuff under the chassis. So before I take the chassis out, let's look at the transformers. This is the foot switch. As I said, I got the uh, module for the foot switchable uh, overdrive. Uh, it switches in another whole uh, tube amp section uh, or tube amp gain stage. So more on that when I get it built. I'll just set that aside. Transformers. The heart of the amp. The most important part of your amp is the output transformer. Um, if it dies, you don't get anything out of your amp. Very expensive to repair. All of your sound goes through the transformer, so it's as much uh, the heart of an amplifier as the speaker is the heart of a speaker cabinet. Uh, nothing has more influence on your, your tone than the output transformer, your speaker, and the pickups in your guitar. That's the power transformer. Big, solid, good chunk of iron. So you see me unwrapping this, and it's wrapped multiple times. That's the way the, the whole thing was wrapped. Really well packaged. I'm very impressed by that. So again, output transformer. It says partridge on it. Interesting. I, I don't think it's a partridge. I think it's based on the original partridges, but I'll, I'll check that with, uh, with Stephen. Really nice aluminum brush chassis. Uh, face plate is just taped on, not attached yet. Uh, just see if you can see that, the front of that chassis. Really nice job. Uh, there's the back. Everything pre-drilled. I am so excited about this amp. Oh nice! Turret board. So I knew point to point, uh, but I wasn't sure whether it would be an eyelet board or a turret board. Um, I work uh, with a lot of vintage Fender amps. Uh, my other favorite amp is any of the Blackface or early Silverface uh, basement. Uh, and those are an eyelet board on a fiber card. Uh, this looks like some G10 epoxy, eighth inch thick, really solid board. Uh, turrets are really great to work on. Um, way easier than eyelet boards, although eyelet boards are not bad. Wire and uh, heat shrink tubing. I mean, they, they are complete. Uh, switches, knobs, uh, the lamp, pilot lamp, fuses, IEC connector, uh, jacks, input, output, and speaker jacks. All right, Mallory, Caps. Uh, looks like we got some MIEC for the filter cap or for the uh, electrolytics, and uh, looks like some Sprague too. JJ can caps. I like those quite a bit. So uh, good quality components and diodes. Tube sockets. Tube shields. more wire, all the screws and standoffs you could need, power cord, okay. a couple of electrolytic capacitors, a regulator, oh okay so this would be for I think for the, the, the switching system for the, the foot switch, pots, alpha, alpha pots, nice, and a bag of resistors, and yes, yeah, some metal film, some carbon, and yep, so nice. And uh, this is the control board for the, uh, or the input output um, unit for the um, effects loop. So anyway, um, this is the tri amp kit and what you get with it. Um, 
The only thing that doesn't come with this is the tubes. Um, I've had tubes damaged in shipping uh, in, in amps, and, and that definitely could happen here with all of these things, even though they were packed well, they could probably crush the tubes. And I really like the fact that I can choose my own tubes without feeling like, oh, why am I wasting the ones that came with it? Um, I have a bunch of JJ tubes. Uh, I probably will put those in for the initial fire up and tweaking. Uh, but I also have some new old stock uh, tubes, some 6V6s, 6L6s, uh, EL34s, no KT66s. Uh, so I'll probably play around with that. I'm pretty much going to stick. Uh, I'm pretty much going to stick with 6V6, and I'm not intending to run the amp really in high gain range. It's going to be a little bit crunchy. So I think the 6V6s will sound really good, and overall 20 watt, 22 watt output will be nice. Um, for preamp tubes, uh, I've got uh, um, I got really lucky. I bought an old um, a PA amplifier uh, about 10 years ago, and it had six of the very sought after Telefunken uh, 12AX7s, and they all test good. I put them in a few things and they sound incredible. Um, those are going in here. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to building this amp. Uh, hoping to do a, a, a reasonable uh, build video with this too. I'm not going to bore you showing you every, uh, every soldering connection that I do and, and, and every little thing that I do to this amp. Um, but I will kind of go through step by step as I get the various uh, components and sections of this amp built and done and I'll kind of detail uh, what I did to get there. So um, follow along with me. Thanks. I forgot to mention one other thing about uh, about Trinity Amps is uh, if you're not inclined to build your own amp they do um, build and sell these amps complete as well so if you're interested but you think oh man I don't want to build my own amp Go check them out, Trinity Amps. I'll put a link down in the description. Um, they they have built for some really amazing musicians, and uh, there are some pretty good videos on YouTube demonstrating uh, their amps. And they don't do just high watt. They have uh, or high watt flavors. They have flavors Marshall style. They have Dumbo style. Uh, definitely Fender style amps. Uh, they have a really good selection of amplifiers. Prices are good. Follow along with me and thanks for watching.